This video will take you to the point from after you've uploaded your YouTube video to how to add it to your channel. So uh, you go to youtube.com after you've uploaded your video from whatever your device or QuickTime or Camtasia or Snag or whatever you've done. And you then go to, you can click on the hot dogs here. Oops, that took them away. And you can click on my channel and it will take you to uh, a spot where you can manage your videos. And it's right here in the center and it's called Video Manager. And so if you click on this right here, it's going to take you to all of the videos that you have personally uploaded. It's not ones that you've added that other people have made. These are the ones, these are the videos that I've made. So they end up on a list like this. And there's so many different ways to manipulate them or work with them, um, uh, the way you can view them. You can have um, your actions to them. So if I, here's my last two videos I just created. So I can click on actions and it's going to let me edit them all at once. So I want to make sure that I change their privacy setting. Uh, right now they are on public and if I hover over this symbol over here I can see that it's on public. And I really like my videos to be unlisted, especially if they have students in them. When they're unlisted then nobody can search for your videos um, and uh, that way you can keep the identity of your students um, anonymous a little bit easier. Um, you can still see them if you um, have given someone your link, of course. It's not the same as making them private. So uh, I guess for these videos, though, that wasn't a very good choice. Um, I want them to be public. I want people to find these. So I would go back and make sure that these were kept public. All right, so from here, the other thing I can do is I can go ahead and click on the actual video on Edit. And it will give me lots of different options here. I can change the thumbnail that I like. Now they're all pretty much the same and kind of boring. Um, I don't have mine enabled for custom thumbnails, which you can do. There's a whole process for that. But it does give me lots of other um, options to look at. There's my video URL. It gives me some analytics, how many views, um, when I uploaded it, likes and dislikes. Well, down here is where I can edit um, what I've called, um, titled the video. I can also edit here, making it public, unlisted, or private. Uh, if you do make it private, you can only add, if I were to make this a private video, then I can add names or email addresses of the people I want to see it, but you can only add up to um, 50 people. So I definitely want to leave this public. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to see it. You can write your description here, and you can also put more tags. Also, I can add to a playlist straight from here, which is very handy. And uh, let's see, this one will go into my YouTube tutorials, YouTube channel tutorials. All right, so I've got it set. I'm adding it to my um, playlist and I'm going to save the changes. All right, so from here, I'm gonna go back to my um, where all my videos are and make sure the other one is added as well. I can go through and um, check for the same things. Maybe I want to change the um, how it looks. Uh, maybe I'll put this one on instead. I'll set that as the thumbnail. Make sure it's public and I'm going to add it to a playlist and I'm going to make it YouTube tutorials and save changes. All right, so I'm all set. I can go back to my channel now. And I have this playlist already set at the top of my channel because I really want people, anyone who comes to my channel, I want you to be able to find YouTube channel tutorials really easily. So it's the very top. And let's see if we can see them on there. All right, so here are my YouTube channel tutorials. This copying an entire playlist in YouTube is an old video. It was created a year ago, and some of those options have changed, but if we scroll all the way to the end, ah, it has four more. So it's going to make me go to um, the vertical view of this and scroll to the bottom. And there we are. There's my two videos that I just created. Now, if I want those to go up to the top, because I want a little bit more publicity with them, or I want people to find them easier, I can just grab the side of them. If I hover over, it will show me some uh, feature that will let me grab it and I can scroll those up to any section I want. 